I just heard some really exciting news from Walt Disney World about travel planning for 2020. Are you interested? Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Coral. Today in my email, I got some information from Disney Travel News that yes, 2020 is going to be opening up on June 18th, 2019. And what does that exactly mean? Well, that means that if you want to go to Walt Disney World in 2020, you can start booking it on June 18th, 2019. This is really exciting news for those of you who have been planning about a, a 2020 trip in the future, but yet haven't been able to book or quote anything, you know, because the dates aren't available to, to look at in the future. It only goes up right now until December of 2018. So what does this mean for you? You've got two choices. Number one, on that date, you yourself can book that trip for yourself if you're interested, or you yourself can look online and quote some prices to know which resorts cost which price with tickets, with dining plan, etc. Or choice number two is you can reach out to a travel agent that specializes in Disney vacations and they can help you plan and prepare this trip. No matter which option you go with, you have to be a little organized and in advance. And the good thing is today I'm filming this. It's June 4th, 2018, 2018, totally not 2018. It's June 4th, 2019. So, you know, you have 14 days to prepare and really get organized. And what do you want to prepare? No matter if you're doing this your own, on your own, or with an agent, you want to know your approximate dates, the dates that you want to check in and check out. You want to know what kind of tickets you're interested in, how many days of tickets, whether you want to do base tickets, meaning you go into one park per day, or you want hopper tickets, called park hopper tickets, if you want to visit more than one park per day of your trip. You want to think about the dining plan. Is that something that you're interested in or not? You want to think about the type of hotel that you want to stay at. There are value resorts, moderate resorts, deluxe resorts. You want to think about how how close to a park you really want to be. If you're going to stay the majority of time in Magic Kingdom, maybe you want to consider staying at a monorail deluxe resort, one that's really close to the Magic Kingdom, for example. So these are some things that you want to think about and, and kind of have jotted down on a piece of paper so when the date does come, June 18th, you can get on your computer if you're doing it yourself or have your agent help you do this for you. Now, if you are working with an agent, let me give you some pro tips, okay? Um, your agent is actually also going to need to know how many adults are in your group and how many children. She'll, she, he will also need to know the ages of your children. Disney considers an adult anyone over 18 or over. Okay, and Disney does have distinct, well, that's not true. Okay, let me, let me say, yes, Disney considers an adult a guest 18 and older. Disney charges for adult prices for any guest 10 and over. Just letting you know, <laughs> just in case. You probably didn't want to know that, but that's the truth. And then uh, children ages three to nine are priced as a child price and children two and under are actually free. So whether you're doing this on your own and you're, you're kind of planning a whole big group, you need to know everyone's ages and how many, how many people are going to be staying inside each room. And that's how you kind of uh, will price out or quote out your options. So that's important to know, okay? So dates are important to know. Check in, check out, approximate. Uh, number of guests and ages of guests, that's very important, and where you kind of see yourself staying, whether it's a value, a moderate, or a deluxe. If you really have no idea, consider your budget. If your budget is really between 1500 and, you know, low twos, you may want to consider a value resort. If it's kind of mid twos to low threes, maybe a moderate. If you have a budget that is 
four or over, you might be able to consider a deluxe. Now you don't have to stay at any of those, but I'm just trying to give you a range. So if you don't know the type of resort you wanna stay at, think about it in terms of budget and how much you really can afford to spend on this trip. Disney trips can cost a ton. Disney trips can be very affordable. There are so many options. So do not think that you have to spend $5,000 to go to Walt Disney World. That is not true. There are plenty of options for you to make this an affordable trip, even staying on Disney World property. So I think that's it. Okay, know your dates, your budget approximately, know how many people are going, adults and kids, and um, yeah, get excited because June 18th is going to be an exciting day. <sighs> We're gonna cross our fingers that the website works for your sake because the phone lines will probably be very, very long. They're never busy, but they're long. Like you may have a long wait time if you decide to call in to Walt Disney World to get some quotes. So if you are computer savvy, really do consider using the computer to get some quotes for yourself or if you are using an agent, he, she will do that for you and then get back to you. Here's another tip. If you're really considering a package that you have quoted out for yourself or you have had an agent quote out for you, but aren't like 100%, but you're 99% or you're 98%, do a three-day courtesy hold. If you get that three-day courtesy hold, you will get a confirmation number and it allows you and gives you this opportunity to pay that $200 deposit to Disney within three days and you will not lose that room, you won't lose anything and you'll actually keep the same confirmation number, ah, which is amazing. So do consider that um, if you're really, really interested. Okay, so that's the big news. That's the big news and I'm so happy to share it with you. June 18th, 2019 is when you or your travel agent can start booking and quoting for Walt Disney World 2020, which is extremely exciting for those of you who have been waiting so patiently. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next Disney video, guys. Have a great day. Bye.